Okay, sufficient conditions means there's going to be a set of specific conditions or properties that by themselves will guarantee you have a particular figure. Understand the what you're starting with and where you're ending, what you're trying to prove. So for the first one, if I ask you um, what properties are sufficient conditions that prove a quadrilateral is a parallelogram. Okay, so as I write these, what you're going to see me do is I'm going to underline what I start with and what I need to end with right, because this will help determine um, what properties I need to identify. So I have about two, four, six, I have about six different properties here. So I want to uh, find out what did you guys find? What were some of the properties that you found by themselves are guaranteed to prove you have a parallelogram? Anybody willing to share one? Thank you. Okay, so if you know that both pair of opposite sides are congruent, that alone is enough to show that a quadrilateral is a parallelogram. Tim? Okay, so if you know that one pair of opposite sides is both parallel and congruent, again, that alone it tells you that you have a uh, parallelogram. Okay. Anybody else? What other ones did you guys find? What about opposite angles? Okay, so you have both pair of opposite angles congruent. <clears> hey, <throat> okay, anything else? What about diagonals? Amy? Good. If the diagonals of a quadrilateral bisect each other, that's enough to show that it's a parallelogram. Okay, and then let's see. Right, anybody else have any others beside these? All right, so the other two probably they may not have been in your search, but I'll provide them anyway. But the other two are. Uh, one just based on the definition. You can always, a sufficient condition is always really what the definition is. So if both pair of opposite sides are parallel to each other, that's enough to show that you have a, a parallelogram. Okay, so if both pair of opposite sides are parallel, and then the final one is a little bit less common, and that is if your quadrilateral has twofold rotational symmetry, then you're dealing with a uh, parallelogram. 